Hi there, Luke Riggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And just want to cover a use case for the user data integer shader. So in the scene, I've got some planes with a flat shader and a switch shader, which has lots of different noise shaders connected to it. So I thought I can change the index and that will cycle through the different inputs of the switch shader, showing the different noise types in the scene. But what if I wanted to have maybe a different noise on one of these planes? I well, we can use the use data integer shader to do that. So I'm going to connect it to the index of the switch shader. And by default, we can change the inputs like we did with the switch shader. So we'll give the attribute a name. Just give it a name. call it noise. And then for this plane here, I'm going to add some use data. Give it the same name that we used in the use data integer shader and make sure the data type is set to integer. Okay, so now we've got the noise field, we can adjust it like we did with the index in the switch shader. You can see the bottom here, we've got plane one, which is changing as we adjust that value. So we could pick another plane, do this one, do the same thing. Use data, add use data, give the same noise name, and data type, integer. Give that a different noise as well. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's the use case for the use data integer shader. Thanks for watching and bye for now.